Hi there, Aries, Aries Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign. This is Chrissy from In the Stars by Chrissy.com. And this is your January 2020 Love Monthly Forecast reading. Please do note that this is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with each and every one of you guys. However, you can interpret this based on your personal understanding of your situation. If you are interested to do a personal reading with me though, you can do that by going through my website in the stars by Chrissy.com. All information how to contact me and the services that I do will be posted on the description below this video. Anyway, without any further ado, let's get on with the reading. So Aries, um, let's see what's going on with you guys. I am currently using two decks right now because they kind of feel that January for everyone is going to be so powerful and quite explosive in its own way so yeah and uh, I'm so sorry for that quite pause because the light is suddenly blinking out of nowhere so that scared me a bit for a while it's fixed now so um yeah anyway january let's see i kind of feel that there's going to be a lot of emotions involved here for those that are in the sign of aries we do have the death card as the first card of the deck that is showing up over here with the three of pentacles so there could be a situation that has ended or you know some form of connection communication with a certain person that may not have worked out or you know you are thinking about a certain person in your past some form of change has occurred for you in terms of a uh, relationship connection with a particular person maybe you are you know uh, wanting to connect with this person because we do have here the four of pentacles and the two of pentacles two of wands rather in your past so this could be you know you have this energy of you're clinging on into something in the past you know you are maybe you are not already with this person maybe you have broken up with you know it could be from a long time ago it could be recent i don't know i just kind of feel that you know that you're still holding on with this person and this relationship this scenario maybe you are refusing to let it go or maybe you already have let it go but it's still in your mind you're still i kind of feel that you're still being haunted by this person in the past and it's like you're having this epiphany that something is about to happen in relation to that situation because we do have the high priestess along with the tower card here so you might be receiving information coming in suddenly in your life and it could be something intuitively you know you have not thought about this person for such a long time and then suddenly you start thinking about them, you start wondering about them in a very excessive and passionate manner. It's as if something is telling you that something is about to happen and transpire in relation to that person, which is very much possible at this time because the high priestess is there telling you, giving you information and knowledge that you may or may not know because the death card is like a point of ending but also it always signifies some form of beginning after some form of you know some form of big ending in your life so yeah we are getting here that January can be a very transformational month because there's going to be a lot of things happening to you in a very emotional level we do have Saturn in, Le in the sign of Leo 
Uh, yeah, this was Leo earlier. I probably have fallen off. Saturn in the sign of Leo in the fourth house. So this is going to be, you know, it really already tells us that there is something happening in terms of your emotions that you just cannot control. You want to control your emotions, but I kind of feel that you are now coming to a point where in your passion and your feelings is going to take control over you. If you are in a situation, in a love situation, or whatever situation you're, you are in right now or in, you were not fully able to express what you wanted to express. You're not able to confront a person. You're not able to talk to someone. I kind of feel that this could be a time we're in you are being pushed by the universe something is pushing you some form of of psychic download or the universe is going to create a scenario wherein you will be able to express those hidden feelings that you are keeping inside of you we have here the foundation card of the three of wands and the wheel of fortune so it all is all about the past there is something that you're still looking forward to in the past you're looking back at it maybe you wanted to be with that person in the past but you're not doing anything that is really what is what i'm picking up right now it's like I do see a lot of energies about the past, but I really don't see the interaction. I don't see any action that you have taken in the past. So maybe you are waiting. You have been waiting with this person. Maybe you are, you know, stalking them or checking them out, but nothing is really happening yet in that scenario. Or maybe you have ignored um, the situation maybe you have given up on that but I kind of feel that for the month of January there is going to be some form of messages that you are going to be receiving but it happens in a psychic kind of way it's like you f you, you find answers you know you do you're not going to receive it from someone else or anything it's like it's going to be happening to you you will have this calling that you are drawn to contact someone maybe or maybe you will take some form of action based upon what you are feeling because you are being called upon by maybe your angels your spirit guide or the universe to take action on something because you have been delaying it for quite a while you're trying to move on you're trying to not do anything about the past but i kind of feel that the right way to deal with this energy is to face it and confront it and to really think about it head on so we do have the higher font over here with the two of swords in the near future position we're in this could be, you know, you are going to be starting to thinking about what is the right thing to do with this situation that you're in with. Is it really over? Is it really time to move on? Whether it's time to move on or not, it's really going to depend on you. It's going to depend on what insights comes to you at that time i just kind of feel that you know january could be a time of reflection where a or it's not really a time of reflection it's more of you are going to realize something in your life there's going to be a realization that's going to be transpiring for you helping you making a decision whether to close the chapter from the past or to move forward in the future or you know um, regardless of what decision you make it's going to help you gain clarity and do something that can make you feel good about certain things we do have the death card over here so 
it's a repeat card of the other deck. So it's really signifying that there is definitely going to be some form of messages that is going to come through. Maybe from the other side. <laughs> it is with the Knight of Swords. So there's going to be, you know, you're really thinking about something in the past. Maybe this is going to make you feel negative about it. But at the same time, you know, it's not meant to make you feel negative, but it's meant to make you think about things seriously. I kind of feel that a lot of you guys are trying to get away with things or trying to run away, making a decision, trying to, you know, trying to just move on without really thinking of any closures or anything like that. But I kind of feel that there could be a, a connection that you have in your life that you just cannot forget. You just cannot let go easily. And it's not just about moving on, letting go, and forgetting the person. I kind of feel that you really need to make a decision. Maybe to come clean. Maybe to be more honest within yourself and really, you know, speak with this person, there's going to be a lot of speaking cards here. You do want to make a new beginning though. You're thinking about starting a new. Again, this could be, you know, talking with this person again. Maybe you are still hesitating. I kind of feel that a lot of you guys are in that hesitation mode, you know. You are wanting for things to get better in this relationship, in this situation, I don't know. But it's not really that hard. It's not really that hard. You do have here the Six of Cups along with the Nine of Cups with your hopes and wishes. So you do want to connect. You do want to reconcile. I kind of feel that a lot of you are dealing with a form of um, fears of rejection fears that things are not going to move forward or things are just going to be the same all over again. I just kind of feel that, you know, I don't know what's really going to happen for you in the future, but if you don't do anything about it, if you don't try to connect, if you don't try to communicate with that person, then nothing is really going to hap happen. Nothing is really going to transpire. So, I would say that the best way to deal with this is to really come clean, to connect with that person, to talk to them. I, you know, it's not a matter of getting back with, with someone, but just talking to them, I kind of feel that that would be a really good step forward into a scenario, into this situation. We do have the outcome card of the Ten of Swords and the page of wands and even though that the ten of swords is quite of a ne negative card you know when i pick up this card i am leaning over to this light you know i wasn't really taking a look on the, the swords you know i was i was noticing the images of the light so this could be a scenario we're in Maybe you are ready to face your past, ready to face the dark times, dark closet, or you know the clo closed closet that you have tried to run away with. This could be, you know, the light at the end of the road. It's telling us that yes, the process here is not easy. In fact, there are struggles that I'm picking up over here, you know? Like, I don't know your situation, but I do know that things are very complicated. I kind of feel that whoever I'm picking up right now, you have a very complicated situation, and it's something that cannot be just explained in just a general reading. I kind of feel that there is more to the story. There is a reason behind your hesitations. There is a reason why you are so afraid. And there's a reason why you're having trust issues right now. 
So with the Page of Wands here, I kind of feel that maybe you are going to talk with that person again. There's going to be some form of messages that is going to come through. It's always the card of messenger, by the way. This can also be a scenario wherein maybe you're trying to apologize or trying to mend things that did not work out anymore. On another hand, this can also be a situation wherein you might feel blocked, you know, you you could be swarming with a lot of negative thoughts. You know, that is also a possibility here. We're seeing here that you you wanted to change the situation, you wanted for something to happen in your life, but there's going to be a lot of fears that is hindering you. I kind of feel that at the end of the day, you will have to to talk and communicate in a very calm manner because I kind of feel you're hiding everything inside of you and it's going to, you know, give you a lot of heavy feelings and heavy energies if you don't release them. So, um, yeah, this is really having to do with a new beginning, a new change entering in your life to resolve a situation resolve a situation through some form of communication to someone that maybe you have not been talking to for quite a while you're not talking to them maybe things were so bad between the two of you or you know i kind of feel that there is a one-sided situation happening here and you know you're trying to cross that bridge to to connect with someone whom things have already fallen apart. There is that form of energy that I'm getting here. So no matter what decision you do, this all remains a possibility, okay? Because we do have the Two of Swords over here and the Hierophant cards. So I kind of feel that this is about you finding the truth, not because of the other person i kind of feel that this has a lot to do with your own feelings what you are feeling the truth of what you really want in terms of your love life and relationship in terms of what you really want to happen in this relationship as well so um yeah that's basically what i'm getting for you guys now let me pick an oracle card for you guys for Aries 2020 since I kind of forgot earlier so we have here the card of work your magic so this is really you know telling is that this is not about waiting you need to take action you need to do something about it you have the power to change your situation that is basically the advice of this card so and i agree it might feel hopeless you are feeling so many things right now but the power is really in your hands not to someone else i kind of feel that the other person is hurt as well and they are waiting for you and it is the time for you to really take action and, you know, maybe try to connect with that person whom you haven't talked to in such a long while. You haven't let go of them for a reason. There's always a reason why you're not letting go with someone. And, you know, there is a possibility that some of you are just being stubborn of not letting go but for some of you guys this could be a situation wherein you're meant to be with someone and there's a reason why they are there in your life again it's not going to be the same for everyone but um yeah this is just a general reading anyways so um i really feel that for some of you guys there's still a chance to working work things out but you need to make the effort you need to make a certain step and even though i know your ego is big and you're you don't want to take action and you're just letting it slide letting things happen right now i kind of feel that you know 
your true feelings is going to get the better of you for the month of January, especially at the end of the month. So, um, yeah, this is my reading for you, Aries. So, I hope that some of you were able to resonate with this. And if you do, just let me know. I'd love to know your story and how you are tuning in with my free readings here on YouTube. And if you'd like a more personal reading to take a look on your personal situation, I also do that. And you can go to my website, InTheStarsByChrissy.com to book a session with me. And we'll talk things out how to do the uh, reading. So um, yeah, thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me. And I'll see you guys again next month.